My dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Scorpio and it's for November Ulbadova 2024. My dear Scorpio, this is all about every aspect of your life, everything that you need to know. Uh, from the heavens, from the universe, there'll be answers for you, there'll be information coming in regard to every area of your life. So welcome my dear viewers, thank you all for being here. Let us begin by seeing what are two important messages for all Scorpio for November and Ulbadova. Starting with the first one, and we've got the musician. The musician is all about inspiration and gratitude, being happy, being in gratitude for all the blessings and inspired. So much inspiration. And it is also about music itself. You might be touched by certain music or certain songs or going to a festival or something like that. But mostly inspiration and gratitude. Being in gratitude is just beautiful. The next main message for all Scorpio November. And we have the fate. The fate is all about accepting. Um, accepting help. Accepting guidance. And it's all about being guided. So accepting help and being guided. To what, you know, what to do next or how to proceed. So there's going to be guidance, that's for sure. Now, let's move on to the next level. We're going to take two messages from this deck for all Scorpio, November onwards. Well, the first one, we have the Eight of Swords, feeling stuck and not able to move. This shows to me that there is some sort of painful truth that's withholding you from being able to work and do what you want to do. Uh, but I do feel like you will be released within some time. I would say 8 to 10, perhaps days or weeks. Let's see the next main message for Scorpio, grieving the loss of whatever it was holding you, you are going to be released and you are going to be grieving the loss of that restriction or, or the person that was causing the restriction that they're leaving your life, you might grieve their loss, there is grieving the loss of someone, that's for sure. Now, uh, we'll find out everything as we go along, let's have a look at two messages from this deck for all Scorpio the truth november and a little bit over the flow of life the mandarin pathways about the flow and healing healing so that you can enjoy the flow of life there is a lot of healing coming your way and with that healing comes a lot of success one more main message for all scorpio and we've got purity you're detoxifying cleansing clearing any unwanted situations and there is someone leaving your life or passing i do feel like one major challenge is going to be overcome and there's going to be a lot of changes now let's have a look at two important messages for all scorpio right now i mean no sorry for november not right now and we've got there it is endings we have the death card and the unicorn shows someone is passing there is someone leaving your life the de death card shows transformations endings and new beginnings and as this person leaves whether they're passing or leaving, you are going to be grieving their loss, which is, um, that's that that's the, one of the main messages here, grieving the loss of someone. Now, destiny, this is the kind, isn't it amazing, we had fate here, which is destiny, destiny, and destiny is all about guidance and accepting help, and also destiny is about, it's, con it's going to be controlling situations in your life to take you to the next level, and it is also about luck, extreme abundance and luck coming your way. And that's why you are going to be probably in gratitude, in so much gratitude for all the luck and all the happiness that destiny brings into your life. So that is magical. Now let's have a look at some more messages for all Scorpio, November, a little bit over. And we've got judgment. And judgment shows that there's an end of a cycle of your life. A chapter ends and a new beginning. You're starting over fresh with a lot of compensation and a lot of happiness. Unlike before, this is something magical. Wow, the two of pentacles being torn whether you should or not in between decisions. Finally, there's going to be great news. Money is coming and that's going to help you decide what the best course of action is. The, um, the page of cups, someone very inspiring that's going to be uplifting you and, and taking you to the next level. And finally, we have the nine of pentacles. You will be showered with abundance. This is about being showered with abundance, a lot of money coming your way to the point where destiny, luck, money, you are going to be thriving, my dear Scorpio, thriving in November onwards. Absolutely. This is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. 
you are going to be and that's why you are going to be in gratitude you see here we have gratitude this is the reason you are in gratitude because of everything that's happening you see inspiration and gratitude there's a lot of abundance coming your way so much abundance that you are going to be in so much gratitude and gratitude also and the music is also about about happiness so there's a lot of happiness coming your way also with destiny intervening with its luck bringing all the luck all the abundance there'll be so much to celebrate absolutely so much so that's truly beautiful and now we'll have a look at okay we'll put this one over here so we've got the four right the beginning of prosperity begins so as soon as you are showered with this abundance a life of wealth and leisure so much money comes the beginning what you don't see after this is the beginning of prosperity and it won't stop you'll keep going and giving you strength and power you are going to be so empowered now let's see we're going to take three more messages from another deck for all Scorpio, November and a little bit over November. Let's have a look. And we've got the Hierophant. This shows that you are going to be doing the right thing. The changes that are going to be coming are going to be inspired and guided by the heavens. You are going to be doing the right thing and you are uplifting. Your vibrations are getting higher. You are going to be able to do so much. You'll be so much empowered and commit to change and commit to doing what is right for yourself, upgrading yourself. And this is beautiful because the Hierophant is also about um, commitment to change and wisdom using your mind and your heart. Let's have a look at the next one. Wow, we have the Emperor, the e this old major arcana, which is incredible. Um, uh, the Emperor is about power and control over your life and your journey, living the life you want and doing what you want. Uh, the Emperor could be also connected to someone that's Aries and could be connected to an offer that you can't refuse. Perhaps this offer is the one that's going to help you make the right decision in regard to the Two of Pentacles because money is coming in and you're making the right decision. So there could be an offer that might help you make that right decision. And finally... We have a lot of money coming your way. Your finances are booming to the point where you are going to be doing so well and you are going to be helping others, those who are... You, you are showered with money that you're able to help others. I feel like, you know, there's so many people around you that you are going to support and help and maybe even do charities. So there is a lot happening here. Absolutely a lot. Okay. So that's the money. Okay. Now, um, what you don't see happening with all this... At the end, there is going to be a great celebration. You're celebrating a beautiful uh, situation. Let's take two more messages for all Scorpio. So we've got the hand. This shows that help is uh, coming. Remember they said um, something about accepting guidance, accepting help. Help is going to be there. Somebody's going to help you um, get a job perhaps or get what you want, what you need. Manifesting money here, reaching goals, financial assistance. There you go, financial assistance. And there may be careers and hands-on situations, but you are getting a help. You are getting help without a doubt. Let's see one more message for all Scorpio November. Well, I'm just gonna cut it. Let's see. Here we go. And we've got Buddha. This is life's purpose. Questioning life's pur purpose. More than money. Spiritual wealth. Looking into spiritual wealth. Some of you um, doing careers in counseling, spiritual work, being guided, and the divine path. There's a lot of divine path in your reading. So many things that are becoming more um, divinely guided. There's a lot of support coming your way. And it's divinely supported also. That support is from divine. That's what I'm seeing. Let's have a look at two more messages for every Scorpio. And it says healing, healing family issues. It says your love life it will benefit from, um, from forgiving. So forgiveness. There's forgiveness and healing. Let's see what else. All Scorpio. Right, let me put my... Okay, it says pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to the red flags. It says the signs are cautioning you about something. So be on alert to see what's going on so that you're aware. Maybe I will take just one more. Oh, Scorpio. Maybe there's one more. I just felt like, yes, soulmate. Someone wonderful. It says, yes, this is your soulmate. So the person you have met or you're with is your soulmate. You need to know that. Okay. Now that we established that. What I'd like to see the, what the message is, just for interest. The message for all Scorpio, before I clarify, 
for November onwards, right? This is a beautiful card. I love that. Transformations. Wow. Transformations. And it says here, your relationship with one another is about to go deeper and deeper. Love conquers and transforms all things. So love. Love is going to do it all. So paying attention, but you've got the soulmate, and that explains love. A lot of love. And perhaps even the forgiveness that we had before could be uh, the reason for you to be inspired and to be healing from whatever it might have been in the past. Let's have a look at clarifying some of the cards uh, before I move on to the next level, which is going through the star signs and seeing who this Page of Cups is, this water energy, um, and see what else is there that you need to know. Who are the people or one or two people that you are consumed with, overwhelmed with, or meeting, or dealing with on high level in November, their star sign combination. I'll go that through that at the end of this reading. Now let's clarify and see what's going on with the Two of Pentacles, where you're torn in between situations. They're saying you're taking a stand and putting your foot down and, and um, setting boundaries. And at the time that you're doing that, in the midst of that battle, there is going to be a great opportunity um, emerging out of a lot of mistruths there's going to be one incredible one that is going to be uh, very satisfactory you are resting from a battle there is also that a battle you're resting from so that's really wonderful let's have a look at the eight of swords and see what is that that you're feeling stuck and not able to move what is that all about for all scorpios right it is about a relationship or a partnership or a business or a situation that you are suffocating and there's nothing you could do it's coming to an end yes you've been restricted by it um, not being able to move but you are going to be set free look at that this is freedom this is incredible freedom that's why they're saying there's something ending and, and destiny is intervening so i feel like something big is ending and there's destiny have a look at that right at the bottom this is this card here i'll take it and put it over here in connection to this destiny okay so i'm going to look at the um for all scorpio the emperor let's see what the emperor is all about is it an offer or is it someone leaving it is someone leaving and they could have aries in them the person that's leaving and you are going to be grieving the loss of them and that's what this is all about so there may, may be someone like who has got strong aries in them might be leaving and you are going to be grieving their loss but don't forget there is a new cycle of life maybe beginning for them somewhere else and you will be very happy um, for them because there is a lot of elevation and ranking up. So it's something out of your hands. It's something part of their destiny. Their destiny is taken, uh, taking them to the next level. Let's have a look at the Hierophant for all Scorpio. And it looks like a soulmate connection with someone perhaps that might have air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. All this air energy could be someone advising you. In regard to a partnership, there is a beautiful soulmate connection coming your way. You see that? Now, I can't say a soulmate is air energy because air doesn't go with Scorpio. Well, I'll find out more because I feel like it should be water energy or earth together. Uh, but I'll find out more about this air energy. It could be someone just uh, advising you about something. Uh, your soulmate is coming without a doubt and it is someone that you are going to be uniting with and healing together so it can't be an air energy you don't go well with air energy so we'll leave that there and see find out more it could be more of a leo fire energy you'd go more well with fire than you would with air let's have a look at the um the page of cups for all scorpio Right, the Page of Cups, that inspiration that they're talking about, is going to help you answer a lot of questions that you've been pondering and wondering about. This is also connected to Virgo, um, searching for the truth. The Devil, the Devil is connected to Capricorn. These are both Earth energies. Now, the Devil is connected to um, something that's being too much and, and it needs healing. So it's going to be, you'll be inspired to put an end to it so that it can be healing. And there is someone of earth energy coming in your life. This person is going to come, they're going to come at a time where you are resting from a big battle and you're becoming free from headaches and worries. And this person is going to be someone by your side, very loyal, earth energy, very strong earth energy. So the inspiration is going to release you from anguish. You'll have more certainty in your life. All the uncertainty disappears and something that's excessive too much will heal and come to an end. Now let's have a look at this money that you're showered with, with the Nine of Pentacles, a life of wealth and luxury. What is this all about? My dear Scorpio, great news is coming to you. Wonderful news that's going to be 
really um, appreciate it. I feel like someone is supporting you also. Water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Great news that's going to take you to this level where the level of wealth and abundance is coming your way. That's what we're talking about. And the Wheel of Fortune plus this other Wheel of Fortune, you see that, how incredible this is. You've got the Wheel of Destiny, Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Fate, and you have abundance of wealth all together. That's what you're blessed with. You are going to be blessed with so much of this. It's just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Destiny to the highest level and degree with a lot of wealth. Talking about wealth, um, oh yes, we did that. So we, 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 I do realize that there's great news coming and some of the water energy is supporting you. Let's have a look at, or, my, or the good, great news could be coming from someone of water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Let's have a look at the death card here. The transformations that are taking place for all Scorpio. Wow. One more challenge and one suffocating chapter ends. This suffocating chapter ends. That's being suffocating you. Comes to an end even though you'll be grieving the loss but you'll be happy. And then a lot of money is coming. Wealth is coming after one challenge. And then time for rewards and this is the rewards. Wealth. Just like we have the Nine of Pentacles. Now we have also the Ten of Pentacles. So a lot of money is coming, big time. That's why there's no more. You'll, be start, you'll start searching for spiritual wealth because you'll have all the money in the world and then you just want spiritual wealth because you don't need any more money. All your problems will be over. Everything will be paid off. You'll have plenty of money. You'll be showered with money. And then you're just going to be looking for spiritual wealth. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that incredible, my dear Scorpio? Look at that. Spiritual wealth to the highest level and degree. How amazing is that? So um, that's that one. Now, we're talking about the death card after the, the money and um, the final challenge. There is going to be also a proposal or a proposition, one that's going to be very hard for you to, to say no to. It could be an offer to take you to the next level. Let's have a look at what you're grieving. The Five of Cups, grieving the loss of who? It looks like to me you could be grieving the loss of someone of water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, it looks like one of your oldest wishes is going to be granted at a time that you are grieving the loss of this person. So that's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay, let's put these aside and try to see what are the star sign combination and a lot of transformations, remember. And now I know why you've got this why you are celebrating look at that um you're celebrating this incredible abundance that's destined for you so much abundance coming your way my dear scorpio so that that's now understandable okay so as i was saying let's see the star sign combination of the people you are consumed with well number one is gemini that you're dealing with on a very high level or meeting for the first time and being overwhelmed with in november a little bit over what are the star sign combination of people that Scorpios are all consumed with? Okay, so we know there's water energy, we know there's earth energy, and there's Aries. So let's have a look. You might be grieving the loss of Aries or grieving the loss of someone of water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, so there's another one. Leo. Oh, yeah, we had Leo before. I remember the strength card. We've got Mars. There's the Aries I was talking about. And then there is Neptune, the water energy we're talking about. Neptune, which is the rule of Pisces. But still, I feel like Cancer is involved here very strong. Let's have a look. We've got Libra as an air energy. Let's have a look. Scorpio is dealing with the majority of time. And here we go. We've got Uranus, which is Aquarius, um, Scorpio, someone like yourself, water energy. And then we've got double Aries. You see Aries? We had the Emperor twice, and this is Mars, the ruler of Aries, twice. So there is someone uh, that is uh, leaving, and you're grieving their loss. It could be Aries, or it could be a water energy like um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Anybody else, let's see, that you're consumed with? This is Sagittarius. So fire energy goes with Leo, and then there is the Cancer that I was talking about. So there is one Cancer in the situation. There has to be a Cancer always whenever there is Scorpio, and there's the Moon, the rule of Cancer. So Cancer doubled up as I was, as I knew that Cancer is always with Scorpio, 
majority of time, 99% of the time. And then you've got um, Scorpio and Pisces. But the double, the one that's the most, the majority of Scorpio are dealing with, are cancerians double cancer so that's the water energy that we understand you might be having two cancers in your life there is a possibility that one could be a very close family friend or, or sibling or a child and then one could be your lover so there is double cancer here very strong then we've got fire energy sagittarius or leo this could be someone that you might be also starting a relationship with because fire goes very well with you my dear um Fire energy also we've got double Aries. That's another one, my dear Scorpio. So we've got double Aries. Very strong Aries here, Leo and Sagittarius. Fire energy goes beautiful with Scorpio as you are air and you always need fire for the warmth and you replenish uh, the fire. In return, you give them coolness and they get... So there's a lot of connection, a lot of vibration and chemistry that happens between fire and water you Scorpio now my dear Scorpio there's also an air energy in your life very strong there could be two of them Aquarius Gemini and Libra this could be also people that you might be lucky you might have a cancer that might have Libra in, in them that's an example you might be having an Aries that might have Leo within them that is also possible so um, air energy here very strong air energy doesn't go too well with you my dear Scorpio, because air just brings turbulence and water. What gives you peace and calmness is earth. Was there any earth? No. Oh, we did see an earth coming. You know that uh, page of pentacles that I said someone wonderful is coming? Well, guess what? They're not coming yet. Okay. Because they didn't come out. You see, earth energy. I wonder, let's see if I can try to get one more. One or two to see if we can see what earth energy. I think there could be a Virgo. Because we did have the Virgo Hermit. Who is this? Okay, so we've got Aquarius twice. Just one more. Okay, a little bit. Ah, yes, we got Capricorn. This could be Capricorn because Capricorn is an Earth energy. But it also can be Virgo because we've got the Hermit. And it can also be Taurus. So um, Earth energy. With Earth energy, you will thrive. Maybe this Earth energy is coming after November. Not yet. That's why um, we didn't get that coming easily you're overwhelmed with water energy air energy and fire double aries double cancer very strong so if you've got a cancer that has got double aries in them that means they are in constant battle they're not very happy either there's a there's a combustion happening with mars in um in cancer so um and that that makes them very very uh, warm hard people but then very explosive um, it doesn't mean that they're bad people. On the contrary, they're very nice people. But you have to be very patient. Your patience, your um, diplomacy is needed when you're dealing with Aries. And because we've got Aries doubled up here. And especially if they've got Aquarius in them. Well, you know, air and, and fire and water just makes a big turbulence. So you've got to be very patient. And I feel like there is something that's overwhelming you with the eight of swords showing that something is going to be ending there's only one more challenge and then finally it's going to be over and you are going to be relieved uh, especially if you are dealing with air fire in case you're dealing with fire and air you might the air energy could be the one that could be causing the turbulence aquarius double aquarius um double aquarius just doesn't go well with um with scorpio uh, so with water energy, so I feel like um, when this situation is ending and, and that um, two of swords showing that a situation completely ends, I think it's then that you are going to be very comfortable, very happy with what is happening, what is coming. And I think what's coming hasn't come yet. It will come a bit later on and it might be Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This earth energy is going to be very strong. I also feel in the earth energy, with that earth energy, there is a possibility of fire coming with it. Maybe Leo, they might have Aries in them, or they might have Sagittarius. I do feel like there could be a possibility of Pisces, uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio within the earth energy. When the wa water energy, like Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, do sit together with uh, earth energy, such as Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, it becomes a perfect match for you because you've got the water that blend together, the depth and the calmness, the nurturing power, and then you've got the earth to give you that flourishing and uh, 
um, that foundation from which you can expand and thrive. So, my dear Scorpio, the great news is destiny intervenes in your life and removes what's not wanted because you've got purity here and the flow of life is going to be spectacular. You're going to be going through healing. So it's going to remove what's no longer needed and wanted in your life. And it's blessing you with a lot to be grateful and gratitude for. Uh, a lot of abundance is coming your way to take you to the next level and to give you that peace of mind and freedom and happiness that you truly deserve. So whatever is no good is going to be removed from your life completely. And that is the end of your reading. Not to mention your soulmate is coming and your oldest wish is going to be granted. So on top of everything. And that is the end of your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. I um, do hope you would subscribe to the channel. doesn't cost anything. A few seconds of your time. That helps me big time and it's free, absolutely free. Everything I do is free. And please, in support of me, watch the videos all the way to the end. That gives me, gives me the greatest support. All my love and light and my best wishes to each and every one of you. At the end of the day, what's coming is a lot to be celebrated. So much celebrations are coming your way. With destiny and celebrations, you just can't go wrong. I know I shouldn't be saying this at the end, but I just put it together now and it looks magnificent. As you can see, destiny, luck is going to be on your side and taking you to the next level. And that's the end of your reading. A lot of love and light and a lot of best wishes. Namaste.